hi guys this is arvin welcome back so in this uh, video uh, we will discuss on one of the important concept of concept concept of azure active directory that is nothing but like client id in azure so this video i am creating uh, as one of my friend has requested like how we can create or register our client id in azure active directory and how we can uh, create or uh, uh, secret for the specific client id what to, what is the uh, or how we can uh, set expiry expiry time for the client secret all those things so let's discuss on those things in this video let's move on so first what is the client id in azure or client application id in azure active directory so azure client id is nothing but azure active directory application id so client id is a unique identifier of an application created in azure id so uh, for any application what uh, so uh, like uh, web application or desktop application suppose if you want to associate with the azure active directory then there should be a unique identifier so which uh, through which we can associate our applications for example uh, we have a website we need to authenticate through uh, azure active directory then the first thing we have to create is we have to register uh, our application or uh, we have to associate our application with the one of the unique identifier in azure active directory so uh, for that we need to register a client id or we have to create a client id in our uh, azure active directory so there is one more uh, id called tenant id so what is tenant id so that is nothing but unique identifier of azure active directory instance so don't be confused with the tenant id and client id so tenant id is is an active directory level it's a unique identifier of an azure active directory instance but client id is the unique identifier of an application created in azure ID. okay so next is uh, we can go to demo itself we can see the demo how we can uh, create okay so i'm in uh, uh well, let me close all these things okay so i'm in uh, uh, windows azure portal so let's assume like uh, I want to create or I want to register my uh, or register or create one of the uh, application into Azure Active Directory. So the first thing I would uh, I need to do is like I have to create a client ID. So you just home button, you click on home button or you can go to the hamburger menu and go to Azure Active Directory here and then you, you can see over in the left side, uh, left hand side blade there is a app registration. So once you click on app registration, there it shows option to create new registration. So you need to create a new registration over here. So here you have to specify the name. This is user facing uh, name. So I'll just give here uh, client ID demo. Okay. And also there is a uh, types say here uh, accounts is organizational directory only so which will allow only from the specific uh, tenant it's a single tenant application so you cannot uh, uh, or you cannot associate with any other uh, tenant only the specific tenant only or uh, that of users from the specific tenant only then can be able to access this one or accounts in any organization directory so any organization there is nothing but multi-tenant uh, say like you can uh, log in with uh, uh, different tenant uh, users depending on the concept and there is one more accounts in any organization directory any azure active directory multi-tenant and personal skype and xbox and personal microsoft account only so i am selecting here as of as of now single tenant let it be there that option will keep it as it is and redirect uri so we need to select the platform or we can leave it also uh, we can update later also so what purpose we are going to create this application so it should I mean it would connect with the public client or native mobile desktop application or it's a web application or we are going to register this app for single page application like uh, react angular those kind of uh, Vue.js, all those uh, single page application so we can decide what uh, purpose we are going to create okay so this is the way we, uh, I'm saying like we are associating. So the, the application we are going to create just like uh, unique identifier in the Azure Active Directory 
and we are associating with the application our application like uh, any web application desktop application etc so i'll keep a web and i will not update here because i don't know what is the url but i'll keep it empty as of now and then i'll click on register so once you create or register your application so the name is client demo it gives you the application id application id is nothing but the client id you need to copy this one uh, for the purpose further purpose okay and these are the objective id this is tenant id and here mainly we need to know the application id and also we have another set of configuration over here uh, certificate or secret we can create and this is a uh, redirect uri we can create and this is the application id uri this is the uh, unique identifier or application uri id uri based on this one you can uh, uh, define the scope all those things okay and uh, so uh, let me go on to some of the more important features of this one so on on the left hand side uh, blade you can see all kind of features available you can enable authentication for this one so if you want to enable authentication with uh, azure active directory whatever you can add platform and everything so if you click on a platform configuration you can set it for web application as i mentioned like so these are the platform we can enable for authentication uh, and also if you go down here uh, so these are certain configuration which can uh, restrict uh, like application uh, being used anonymously okay so there is one more thing is called certificate and secrets so this is one of the uh, main uh, uh, like uh, main uh, section we need to con uh, concentrate so if you want to use this client id so we need to uh, first we need to know about the uh, client secret without knowing the client secret you cannot access or you cannot uh, uh, i mean you cannot use uh, this app id or client id for your purpose like authentication or anything okay so here uh, once you click on client secret so right now i don't have any secret in place so I'll just click on new secret, client secret. So you can give here any name. I'll give here test. And there is a uh, expiry time as well. So recommended six months because we have to rotate uh, every six months this keyword. By mistake, if there any uh, sec uh, security breach, suppose uh, by mistake if you have shared or someone come to know this uh, client ID and secret, he can play with uh, your application using that client ID and secret. So because of that recommended from Microsoft is six month. Uh, once it, we should ro rotate the password or we have to regenerate the uh, secret. But uh, of otherwise we have other other options as well. Three months, 12 months, 18 months and also custom. So custom you can set a uh, certain time. Okay. So this is the way we can create. For now what I can do here is I'll just do for 24 months. So I'll click on add. Once you add, here it gives the value. So once it's generate, you need to copy this one. Other, you cannot see uh, over uh, next time. I mean, you cannot see again it. Once you go back and come, you can't see the secret. Just you can copy and you can use for uh, I mean with your client ID. For example, if I go back and come back to this one, it will be hidden. Now also it's visible. Sorry, I'll just go back to overview and again come back to client and secret so this is uh, now available but once you log out and log in uh, it will be hidden you can't see this whole uh, uh, secret so this is how you can generate secret and you can use it and also there are certain configuration you can set it up uh, like you can define the scope so what uh, your client id or your application register application can do with the azure active directory uh, whether it should allow to access Microsoft Graph or whether it should allow to read the uh, profile from the Active Directory. There are lots of permission we can define or we can uh, give it to uh, our application ID. So for example here, I am taking here one of the example here, Microsoft Graph. So which uh, Microsoft Graph uh, is the API which uh, gives us to uh, interact with Azure Active Directory uh, to read the directory or access the directory so if i select this microsoft graph there is a delegated and application permissions so delegated permission is nothing but 
where the user intervention is required i mean uh, like uh, once you log in based on the user login it will perform the actions application permission is nothing but uh, there is no e user uh, intervention is required so using client id and secret uh, it can perform any task on the azure active directory or whatever the resource associated okay so if i give the delegate access here so we can select the permission over here there are lots of permission we can give for example uh, these are the open id uh, permissions email offline access open id profile and access review we can so these are the permissions available uh, from uh, on top of azure active directory so if we give access so the registered client id can perform all these actions on these uh, active directory okay suppose if you give given uh, like uh, permission to read uh, directory permission so it can read all user profile available in the active directory so this is the purpose of uh, api permission and also you can uh, define scope as well and also you can uh, uh, give a uh, certain client id add uh, client id associate client id as well to uh, access through this uh, or access this active directory features through that uh, registered app suppose uh, if you want to access uh, like uh, if you want to enable authentication for teams application so there are two types of uh, i mean two types of uh, clients are available for teams right one is a web client and uh, another is desktop client so both will have their own unique uh, id client id over here we can associate those client id and we can give a consent so that like uh, uh, our registered app id can use or allow to access uh, active directory resources like uh, or active directory features okay so these are the certain uh, main uh, features uh, i have gone through now okay so yeah that's all thank you thank you for watching this video